scout today and living in the USA, the land of the free. They've taken me on quite a ride and through the years I realize the man I came to be. Summer camp and evening fires, singing songs and counting stars, the bridges that we learned to cross to keep us safe from the river's force. And I just want to say What are, they, what are the scouts doing here? <laughs> this is collecting mer uh, collecting belt loop. Belt loop, my merit badge. Yeah, that's right, I do that too. What's your name? My name is Mark LeClaire from Troop 110 in Millbury. And I'm Bennett Dakota from Troop 110 in Millbury. So what kind of stuff are they collecting here today? Collecting any 10 items. The, we've had people come with leaves. Bugs, one guy did. I found that one interesting. Rocks, cool. sticks, just about anything you can find. These are all collection. Yeah, one more that's not on the table that I was using. My collection of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. We've got flashlight collection. Penny collection. These are patch collection. Ooh. Bottle cap collection. Oh, that's the first one of that one today. Rock collector, card collection. Bottle cap opener oh, connection. Yeah. Well, uh, your name, buddy? Who's, uh, who uh, owns all those patches? Ah. Uh, We've got a knife collection. Ah, uh, let's check that out. Uh, There's some old ones in there. Yeah. Cool. Hi, Braden. Thank you very much. So the kids are out there gathering. What do you got there? This is for the scout show. You got some rocks? Collection of rocks. Ah. Very good. Here we are at the shooting sports area where the turkey shoot is about to commence. It actually already has with these archery uh, scouts competing against each other. So here we are at Belt Loop uh, Station for Communications where they have to write a letter and then tell a story. And a lot of these kids, it looks like they're writing letters to Santa Claus. Hey, Christmas is coming in about um, four and a half weeks. So they're earning their marbles loop here. <laughs> Paul, if it slips out of your hand, you can call Slipsies immediately and you can get a duel. But if you forget to say Slipsies, you turn it over. So put your knuckles right on the line, bud. <laughs> I got two! 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 I got two!
Just so you know, don't, don't squeeze it. I don't know. Don't squeeze it. Just let it sit. I don't want to it. No, leave it there. Leave it there. Put the other one on the other And then flick it. Okay? So give it a shot. Other examples of sedimentary rock. This is limestone. This is a sedimentary rock that formed near copper ore. So that's why it's greenish in color. What color is the Statue of Liberty? Green. 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 And that's because it was copper. You know the Statue of Liberty started off looking like a penny? Yeah. yeah. Alright, and then over time it turned green. I thought so. it was green. That's I think that's because mm -hmm. of all, all the storms. It, it's because of the storms, it's because of the air. And more at the Bell Station Fair we have chess going on. Uh, a game of strategy. No, you can only, well you can, but that would take you two turns. So this would be one turn, and then this would be two turns. So you can only do it once at a time. Now the king, how does the king move? Forwards and move. You can go forwards, diagonal, this way, that way, or this way. But only one time. Good job. How about the queen? Anyway. Anyway. So forward, backward, diagonal, sideways, everywhere, right? What are your pawns? Alright, so does that all make sense?
Jeff Hotchis, you've been here 19 months and how many days? Um, ab about three. <laughs> about th 19 months and three days. That's right. Now, I remember your early days out here. Uh, it's kind of exciting. It was exciting. It was like a Daniel Booth experience. Uh, you were in a small cottage uh, out of Treasure Valley mm -hmm. and you spent mm -hmm. quite a long time there. I did. We uh, The council offered um, as I came here, you know, some temporary housing until we found a place. So, although my wife and I found that uh, relocating and, and selling real estate is a much harder decision. So instead of maybe a month or so in a little cottage cabin at camp, uh, I, I spent 13 months uh, and a couple of nor'easters and a good winter um, out there. But it was a great way to learn more about uh, uh, scouting and, uh, and maybe uh, almost... Uh, a, an experience where I could I learned again that I could get along with a lot less stuff because there wasn't a lot of space in that cabin. It was a great place to live and and um, had a toaster oven, so you know I, I was good. Now, let's talk about from your lonely days in the cabin <laughs> to present. There's been a lot of challenges, a lot of successes that have gone on. One that stands out that is uh, relatively new uh, is the Northeast region in terms of Cub Scout growth has a 25% increase uh, through early November of this year. So we have lots of new boys and volunteers. We do. How did we, we do that? Who did it? Uh, How did we do that? Uh, well, we got, we got more, uh, more of our uh, current volunteers involved. We did a lot more training of, um, you know, where scouting happens, it's, it's in the local scout unit. So we asked and we got into places we hadn't been in a long time. We did some, we call them boy talks. We did some assemblies. We handed out flyers and we just had a great um, a great growth. Uh, it was adding kids to what was already a good Cub Scout pack program. We just had to had to get the word out. Well, and actually you're seeing that uh, cross pollinate over to camp mm -hmm. uh, for mm -hmm. Cub Scout camp. Mm -hmm. My boys were there this summer, most of my pack was. A uh, 17 percent increase, 351 Cub Scouts at Cub Scout Day Camp. We did. Uh, what was, the, what was the change there? Was it a programming uh, alteration? Yeah, a, a little bit. Again, it was getting the word out. Okay. Um, but it was also, we, we offered a different theme every week. It all had to do with um, um, uh, water. Uh, I mean, it was kind of Gilligan's Island theme, a pirate theme, uh, undersea adventure. Uh, one of the highlights uh, was building a raft uh, near the end of the week. Every uh, little Cub Scout then got to build one. and. And if the um, uh, the advisor, the the young uh, adult staff member, if they could flow it on it, then the kids uh, could. Now, in chatting with her, she said, "Well, none of them really floated, but they all had a good time building it. So it, we we saw some pretty crazy contraptions out there. And that was uh, fun. Actually, it was so successful, we're going to add uh, another week of Cub Day Camp next year because we just see that as a place to grow. Popcorn." We just wrapped up. We did. Uh, we did. I'm seeing here 16.1 percent increase. I assume over last year's net. It was. Yeah, that's right. Um, again, who made that happen other than yourself? Uh, we, we well, uh, we, uh, we again, and it's the key, I think, to scouting and to make scouting happen is 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 you're talking to people get and, and get some key volunteers. Something we hadn't had before in every one of our districts. We had we called a popcorn kernel. And they were great nudges and uh, and uh, trainers to get more of our units excited about doing that. And then this is a real benefit. It helps our scout council somewhat, but but the real profit uh, of these popcorn sales goes to the unit. A lot of our scout units really got into the idea of this is our one big fundraiser for the year, and now we can fund our program, go to Cub Day Camp, and everything else. I I, I think uh, the last figure I saw is uh, the kids earn $22,000 in camp vouchers wow. this year. So a lot of kids are going to camp because uh, they sold popcorn, which is great for mom and dad 
in their pocketbook. You know, I was on a scout camp the other, the other week, um, and it, it's uh, something that we're highlighting in our program this month. And it's uh, incredibly exciting to, to me. It's the uh, solar array field. Um, it, construction has begun. Um, uh, soon you'll probably see foundations going in and electrical mm -hmm. systems. Uh, tell me a, bit, a little bit about, you know, do you see this happening elsewhere in uh, BSA uh, throughout the nation or even in the Northeast, or is this really unique? Uh, well, it's a, it's a little unique, although I'm getting phone calls from other scout executives. We are, uh, Little Mohegan Council is a hot topic of saying, well, gee, you've got 2,500 acres, you're, you're, or 1,600 acres, we're using 30 of them for a, a 6 megawatt uh, solar farm. Um, and it's, it's acreage we weren't using, and now it's, it's going to earn us revenue that we can plow back into the program and get more kids involved and offer more things. Um, Massachusetts has been nice. It's, uh, you've had a government that has really been supportive and wants to, um, to encourage solar power. Um, We've even gone as far as develop a whole curriculum for uh, classrooms um, for, I think it's fifth grade here in Massachusetts where we teach electricity, yeah. uh, where we hope to have uh, classrooms come out and come visit us. And, and if we can pull it off, maybe at some point we'll have a big outdoor education classroom out there where we'll te we're teaching all of central Massachusetts about solar power. We, where does the power come from before it gets to the grid and gets into your house and you can plug in your computer and your and your light and your iPod and, and do some fun things. So well, it's been a good year. What's uh, what's the major challenge ahead for you as you begin building your budget for next fiscal year and we are creeping up on the end of 2013? We, we are. I think that the biggest challenge is how do we tell the good news of scouting to more people? We do that, uh, we're going to be fine. Well, hopefully that this show will help. I hope so. Right I hope so. Horizon. This is a first. This is kind of exciting. This is a first. We'll, we'll obviously see how it goes. All right. And uh, it's. I think if, if the program continues as we plan, we'd love to have you on the show uh, each time as kind of an update on where we're at with the, okay. with the council. But I'd love to do that. It's great to have you on the program, Jeff. And, All right. Uh, until next time, okay. carry, carry on. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Have a good day. Story Treehouse. Let's go, baby! Yeah! Woo! Found that. Found it. What's up guys, we're Dude Perfect, hanging out in the mountains of West Virginia at the Boy Scouts' newest high adventure base, called The Summit. Just like the ah!
Welcome to the Rock. Rockwall Jumper! Yeah! 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 I'm crying at you and me Come and drown out yeah! Got it now. Lean forward. Oh. I'm a baller, not a skater. Is the river shot? And if it rains on boards, I'm screaming out. Hey! That's what I'm talking about. So what's going on here? It's noon time. Party? Mm. Mm. Donuts. What are we making? Making oh. donuts out of biscuits. What are they out of what? Biscuits. What are they called, Mark? Wampos. Wampos. Wow. Because when you hit the sides, it's going to whomp them open. <laughs> and uh, take the biscuit, use a uh, soda can or a uh, bottle, bottle cap. Dan, what do you think? I Okay, why don't you get the bottle cap ready to go? Why don't you come and eat some of these while you're waiting? Marty, you want to give me a towel? How is it, sir? Awesome. And then we're making a... Best stone at home you'll ever get. The boy is going to be making apple pie, uh, fudge brownies, and they're making Mountain Dew thumb cake. You know how to cook it. The Mountain Dew is all about using the, using the uh, carbonation to help mix everything. Okay. So it makes the perfect size donut <laughs> and a munchkin for later. You just had a cooking show. I we actually you... love to do scout skills on cooking because Marty is doing the Mountain Dew dump cake. Ben is making the apple pie. Very impressed on that because I can't make an apple pie. But we're going to make Steph and also use the biscuits to make take apple slices and make some pops. Apple nice. So then that's a simple thing. Yeah, and you just throw it. Goes onto the plate. Right into the. Right into once, he, once he's ready. Let's see the end of the process here. Yeah, they're getting there. We're just trying to heat the oil back up a yeah. little bit. So we just dunk them in there and brown them, right? Yeah, it takes about usually 15, 20 seconds. We're going about. 25-30 on these because it's a little cool. There we go. We're getting some heat now. Boy, you guys eat in style, I gotta say. Hey, a uh, uh, well-fed troop is a happy troop. <laughs> I'm proud to be a scout today and living in the USA, the land of the free. The Boy Scout Pledge gave to me a vision to be much more than I thought I could see. I strive to be an example in my community Helping others in times of need Is living out the Boy Scout creed And I just want to say I'm proud to be a scout today With values I'll bring on the way And pass along someday Those campouts, adventures, all the good times Repelling, sailing, boy what a ride That's what I'll say 
scout is what I am today With character I'll lead one day